November 23, 2017 at 411 M. Saudi authorities have arrested Mohammed Hussein al Amoudi, a dual national with Saudi and Ethiopian citizenship and is reportedly the second richest Saudi, after Prince al Walid bin Talal. While bin Talal's arrest has gained most media attention, al Amoudi's arrest is especially important because it could potentially destabilize the economy of an entire country, according to Middle East Eye. Alamudi, who is also known as the Sheikh, has invested in almost every sector of Ethiopia's economy, including hotels, agriculture and astrology. According to a leaked diplomatic cable from 2008, the Sheikh's influence on the Ethiopian economy cannot be underestimated. In the nearly 10 years since then it has become even harder to estimate the exact value of Alamudi's total investment in Ethiopia, which is among the fastest developing countries in Africa. One analyst estimated the value of the Sheikh's investment at $3.4 billion, which represents 4.7% of Ethiopia's current GDP. Another said his companies employ about 100,000 people, which represent 14% of the Ethiopian private sector, according to the latest Labor Force Survey, 2013. However, World Bank analysts warned that these figures might have markedly increased over the past four years as the sector has developed since then. Report Saudi arrests army officers in anti-corruption purge Alamudi has occupied the front pages of Ethiopia's most prominent magazine since his arrest. News agencies have covered news of his detention, including the rumors that have been circulating on social media websites, as breaking news. They are now panicking, said Henuk Gabisa, a visiting academic fellow at Washington and Lee University School of Law in Virginia and an Ethiopian researcher. In the few days after Alamudi's arrest, Ethiopian Prime Minister Haile Mariam Dessalane felt the need to hold his first press conference in two months. During the conference, he answered questions related to Alamudi and stressed that the government does not believe that this will affect Alamudi's investments in Ethiopia. An Ethiopian Investment Authority official rejected the notion that Alamudi's arrest might create chaos in the government. The country's economy is not based on one investor. For heaven's sake, we are 100 million people, how can we depend on one investment? This is funny. MBS, investments outside Saudi Arabia that are owned by the Sheikh have not been yet affected by these changes, said Tim Pendry, Alamudi's spokesman in the UK. Although they acknowledge that Chinese people who are heavily investing in Ethiopia have now a much larger stake than Alamudi in Ethiopia, analysts suggest that even if the government is not in a state of panic at present, there would definitely be future concerns about the extent to which a conflict with Saudi Arabia would affect the Ethiopian economy. Dr. A. Wallalo, a law lecturer at the Kiel University, said he is a person whose presence or absence might affect the country's economy. He added, he has an impact and in light of all the problems that are associated with his investments in the country, this makes him an influential figure.